Yo, what is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Shuminati, a.k.a. Chrome, back with another vid. Today, I thought I'd hit up my local Marshalls and Ross. This is a little out of my area. I thought I'd run in here, see what I could find. Hopefully, I can give you guys some nice vlog footage. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the thumbs up on this video. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day to watch the vid. But let's get this vlog going, man. You know how we do, man. It's the Shuminati Show. Let go. Look at these little baby Kyries. Make me wish I had a kid, man. Aren't those cute? Infrared Air Maxes, which they was this price in adult sizes. Actually like those, kind of clean, all white. Look little kids, 40 bucks, can't beat it. Zoom Pegasus, not bad. Some Jordan Futures, size 13, one size left. We need them. Got a little fire in here. Got some Hyper Dunks. In that maroon colorway, not bad, 60 bucks. Got another pair of Hyper Dunks. In an orange colorway, 60 bucks. We got another pair of Hyper Dunks in a blue colorway, not bad at all. And we got the Adidas Samoa. 35 bucks man can't beat that that's a solid price tag for these that material feel pretty solid on these and last but not least probably the best sneaker in here this is a tubular runner 40 bucks got that camel print on it that's not bad at all but they do not have my size i wish they did i might actually snag these for 39.99 can't beat that man what you guys think this is the Jordan Air Eminent. What are those? Here we got a Tubular X in a royal blue colorway. It's not bad. $49.99, 50 bucks. It's not bad at all. But of course, they do not have my size, as always. I swear to God, I'm gonna troll one of your favorite YouTubers. I'm gonna send them something in the mail. They ain't gonna even expect it. And I'm going to drop them off with some of this heat, some of this Jordan eminence. Watch out, man. Your favorite YouTuber. Keep leaving your P.O. box in the description if you want to. I'm going to send your ass some eminence. Boy, if you don't... Yo, I swear to God, I always trip out that I can walk into Marshalls and see True Religions. Like two years ago, three years ago, people would have killed for True Religions. And now they're $50 and they're sitting inside of a Marshalls. Should I scoop these up, man? Or is it too out of style to grab these? Let me know. Clean little sets of joggers. Those ain't bad at all. 12 bucks. This little hidden jewel we found. It's actually not bad. Little Nike Air jersey. Not bad at all. The number 82 on the back. 20 bucks. Not at all. Not bad. Is it worthy of a cop? What do you guys think about these? I actually like that red in the lining of the pants. These are actually kind of hot. Let's see if they got my size. We'll see. A few moments later. All right, guys. So we're headed into Ross. This is a brand new Ross. They just opened. I'm sure the aisles or everything in the inside hasn't been picked over yet. So let's go in and see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some fragment Jordan ones. Pray for me. Hit that thumbs up. Let's get it, bitch. It's grown. Well, I didn't find fragments, but I found some Kobe's. These are actually pretty clean, too. And for $69.99, that's not bad. And we got the tubular invaders, but the strap is missing, so this must be a defected pair. But for 40 bucks, not bad at all. Is it near? Does anybody else thought these should have been the original Adidas Yeezys? These should have been the 750s, but that's just my crazy opinion. Here we go again, man. Some LeBron 13s. They're here, just sitting on the shelf, sitting ducks. Not bad at all. Perfect place to pick them up, especially for a discounted price. Bruh. What are those? All right, man, hands down, probably the best sneaker in here. Adidas top 10. Wish they had these in my size. I might actually grab these. These aren't bad at all. Top 10 Adidas. 
Here we go, man. Two raw stores in a row. I found Barclay Posits. And these are size eight. Anybody need these, man? Hit me on the DM, man. I might be able to look out for you. Hit me on Twitter. I hit you up for retail. Plus shipping. We got the Nike Python, AKA the Jordan 2 knockoff. Actually pretty clean. And for 69.65. Not bad at all. And of course, we got a Team Jordan shoe. This is like a size 7, something for kids, but it's here in Ross. Man, still of the day. Red October Roshi runs. These are actually 11 and a half for 35 bucks. These are not bad at all. Honestly, a worthy cop, to be honest. I might have to grab these. We'll see. I swear to God, if I ever find a kid who out here running around putting Ross tags and Marshall's tags on air fragments, I'ma knock him the fuck out, man. For real, you don't be playing with real sneakerheads in that type of manner. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. They got here a little baby heat. It's the KD8, the suit. I remember when these dropped, they were pretty hyped. And now they are sitting on the shelves in a Ross. And the retail price for these were like 150 and they're in here for $59.99, 60 bucks, so that's not bad at all. Size 10 and a half, who need them? See, doing some shit like this, Kobe, you will fuck your legacy up. You cannot be dropping trash ass sneakers like this. Why would you dare put a jump man on this? Boy, if you don't. <laughs> So after that, it's definitely time to go. A few moments later. All right guys, so we finally slid out of there. Again, wasn't much to cop, but they did cop some pillows. So I guess it was kind of a cop. Either way, man, I thank you guys for taking time of your day to watch the video. I love you guys, man. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, comment. Let me know what you think. Subscribe three years in and your boy is still staying consistent with the content please make sure you support me support the channel with that being said shout out to the whole illumination i see you guys in the next one so you know how we do about this time it's grown and i approve this message intangible entertainment we famous it's grown i'm gone intangible entertainment we famous bitch